everyone welcome back it's Michelle I am doing this um, really just simple flip book today and it's really cute it folds to about um, let me see here it's about three by four so I mean it's very basic but I just thought that you know you would like to watch decorate and just show different ideas so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do two at the same time just to show different ideas of how I would decorate these so I hope you can see well it's raining and I have this flashlight on my um, filming area which I don't use so anyway this right here is just a little pocket insert and then I did make another like a door type thing but I thought this might be easier for some of you who don't want to use the brads is just a little tab that you can just pull open and tuck something inside and this I just kind of pasted on there and I added a pocket here so I can recreate that as well as doing I um, you know something a little bit different um, on the other one so it's really perfect for flat mail I'm sure you've done flip books if you do flat mail but this one is just so sweet and you can totally decorate this but I'm just trying to keep it as flat and simple as possible and as you can see it is so thin and does not add bulk so I mean someone would be really happy opening this and it's you know just you know barely anything so to begin let's grab um let's grab a uh four by nine sheet of paper so these are sized four by nine and um i'm just gonna score it at three and six inch mark so you have that trifold going on so that is going to create our little fold and that's my measurements for this And you can fold it however you want it, but I'm just going to do mine pretty standard. And I have two um, four by nine papers here because I want to try and just, you know, decorate. Oh, that looks a little bit bigger than four inches, but that's okay. Um, actually, let me check this because I measure my things. Okay. So three inch and six inch again. Okay, so my, uh, oh no, it's getting kind of sunny. Hopefully you can see okay. So um, my trick while I'm doing my flip books and things is I like to cut out the pieces like pre-cut. So each one of these little pages right here is going to be sized three by four. So what I like to do as a tip is I like to just cut a bunch of three by four papers out so that I can like place them where I need to, or if I need, you know, a folder or if I need a pocket, I have that exact measurement. So that's probably something you want to do prior to doing this. So you're not kind of doing it along, just cut a bunch of little three by four pieces out. Okay. So you're going to want to decorate the front. And for today, I'm just going to do, um, like, I'll just show you kind of how I did mine. So all I did was I took a 3 by 4 paper, and I just, just basically, I just cut this in half. So I took my 3 by 4 and you're going to use these 3 by 4 pieces a lot, because it's going to fill up your book, and, and you're going to cut them, and it's just going to be the perfect measurement for each page. So I'm just going to cut that. I would normally use my cutter for this, but oh, I cannot see with this light shining. Okay, that's a little crooked. So let me just trim this up. Okay, so all I did here was um, paste it on like this. Now, to get this little clean look right here, actually that one's not so clean. I use my corner rounder, chomper, and while this is folded, I cut around it. So when you open it, you have that look to it. You'll see a lot of flip books like this. So when you open it, it'll have that nice, like, rounded look. And a lot of times, it does not cut the best. So sometimes I'll, if I fold it, sometimes I'll come back and I'll just trim down what I need to trim. I usually do that quite often. 
something about all of it together just doesn't trim the best. Okay, so you can see the difference here already from just, you know, flat. And if you don't have a corner uh, chomper, that's fine. I mean, it looks like a flip book still. It's just, you know, got a different edge to it. Okay, so I'm going to actually um, go ahead and chomp both of them. My corner rounder. And if you don't want to spend like, I don't know how much they are, like maybe $25 in Michaels, you can get one that just does it by itself for cheaper. I haven't tried them, but I've seen them. But I just, this one does a really good job at doing those corners. Okay, so now we have two, and you see how we didn't catch that? So I'm just gonna, did I totally miss that end? I did. I think it's the way my fold is. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna open this up. Hopefully this doesn't mess up my um, four by six papers. Okay, so I've got two there right now. Now, um, because all these pages are rounded, all these little pieces that you're gonna be doing, you're gonna round them to, you're gonna round them off to. Because they're all gonna have that look to it when you glue it down. You don't want it to be square if it's rounded. Okay, so the cover, And I'm using like two different ones, so you can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down. This one I might actually, I don't think I was using that side. Yeah, I like this side better. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down just right here. I thought this could be like a watch decorate slash learn at the same time. Just some, I don't know, maybe we all do things different, but you can always pick up some fun tips when you're watching someone else. Okay, so I did that and I'm just gonna do this page two. You know, this is just my four by six slashed in half. Okay, and now is when I placed um, this beautiful, um, this was actually gifted to me, but it's a gold trim. I wanna say it was Heidi Swap, but I cannot remember. And I just laid this down. So if you don't have this, what you can do is take washi or, um, you know, a sticker. Um, actually, Like on my sheet here that came with this set, I have these. This would also be ideal to lay down. So I'm just going to add this trim on here. If you have gold, just a strand of gold um, glitter tape, that will work too. Okay, so that's how I did that. So you can see where that little gold band came from. And then I just popped a sticker on it. So I'm just gonna find a sticker here and throw it on. So this kind of came with a set. So I'm just gonna place this right here and voila. And this one, um, I hate to do the same thing twice, but um, hmm, what do I have here? Let me see if I can grab this strip. Sticker strip. I'm just going to tear it because it's too long. So, this kind of just so you can see a different look. So, I'm just going to tear this and see. So, you can use anything, it does not have to be that glitter, but it does look pretty. And I'm just going to trim it down. And I'm going to put a sticker to place on here. I'm just going to add a die. Oh, that's super patterning. Not into brown. 
but I will use it for this tutorial. I have a really hard time crafting. Some people love that. Like the people I noticed who are traditional crafters, they love like bow bunny and they have like a lot of neutrals. I'm all about color because I feel like it really just adds a nice pop. Okay. Okay, so these are flipped um, two different ways. I didn't really mean to do that, but that's fine. Because this is going to be the cover, so I guess this is going to flip this way, and this one's going to be my little book. Okay, so next, what I did is I just took another um, 3 by 4 paper, and I made that my little side pocket. So let me find another three by four. I thought I had rounded one. Okay, so I have one here, it's rounded. So at this point, it makes your life so much easier because it's already cut, I corner chomped it. And at this point, I'm just gonna take my um, punch, my circle punch and make my little um, half moon right here. So they know it's a pocket. And I'm gonna glue that down right here. I'm gonna glue, uh, just glue it right over here and leave that insert open. So you can see that's how I did that first page. I'm just gonna do the go around. Okay, that's one pocket. And I can't believe I did this to the flip book, but that's okay. I guess it's gonna be more of like a two page one. Or you can totally do that and then do your flip book. But I really meant to like close it like that. So, okay. Next, I just added a little, um, another die here and I have this really easy little door to open without the prongs and all that. And that paper is sized two by five. So if you want this to fit with that little tab, I just take a two by five paper and fold it in half. And I have some little tabs I made and I used my Sizzix die for this and I'll show you. So I made these little um, tabs that you can stick on. This one was actually with the set and I love it. It was, I think there was only one in there. So I had to make my own. So this is a Sizzix one. And I can show you what I used. It came from this set here. And it is the Kate, Caitlin, Liz, is it Lizardi? I've seen her around um, all over the place, but I love this. It is great. It has binding. It has all sorts of um, just really nice um, dies in it. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue on this tab right here. And pop that on. And I can just glue that down right there. You want it to be a little smaller than the three by four paper because when you close it, you don't want the tab to overlap that crease. That's why I cut it down to two by five. Okay, so now you have this little sweet little door and I kind of want it moved over just a little bit. So when you close it, you see it will not interfere with that fold. And then I'm just going to pop a sticker on it. Sorry, if I'm kind of working low today, I need to back up a little bit. Okay, and then I just popped on a little, um, die. Is this too big? I'm trying to find what size this is. Three. Okay, it does fit. So I'm just going to corner chomp that because you can see it looks a little um, strange if you just add the square. I mean, it's fine, but I just like it to look, you know, the same. So I'm going to just corner chomp all these. And I didn't do it before because I wanted you guys just to see the process as I'm moving along. So I'm just gonna 
glue this. And where is my, um, let's try to find my other glue stick. That kind of makes it go a little quicker. I'm so hungry, I just realized I didn't eat breakfast yet. So I'm just trying to film this. Okay, so we have that moving along, going like that. And you have your thing, and here I'm just adding my little folder, and you guys know the drill with this. You just take your three by four paper, and it will be fit perfect. So all you gotta do at this point is um, just cut your little triangle and have that pocket. And I even rounded these as well, as you can see, just so that page looks even. So I'm gonna just round this off. And I even rounded these little edges just a little to give it that um, look. Oh, why am I so off today on this camera? Okay, and that's gonna be my folder right there. Just gonna do my little L, keep this glued on. And I'm just gonna add a sticker on here. So that is pretty much the first one replicated right there. And I'm going to add a little insert right here. And that might be too big. I don't know what fits. Okay. And then um, just, you know, add some goodies right here on the side, inside for them. So that is how I made that first flip flop right there. Ta da! Okay, so now let's finish this other one. So now that I messed the cover up, um, we'll make this a two page one. And another idea that you can do for these flip books is, um, basically is make another type of pocket right here. So again, you would take your um, three by four paper and um, score right down the middle at like two inches and cut it in half. I should have my cutter, but it's all the way on the other side of the floor because I let my son use it. Okay, and then I'm going to just take my favorite punch, this two inch half moon, and just cut out a little moon. And that is going to be a nice like, um, folder pocket right there so you don't have to uh there's like a white strip on here you don't have to do all these flip books the same so i'm just gonna go ahead and glue this right here so i have my little thing sealed and i did not corner chomp this ah okay Ooh, i'm gonna be making a mess doing this I can't believe I did that. Okay, so corner chomping this. I'm gonna have to wipe this down when I'm done. Okay. So don't forget to do that before the glue or you're gonna have that result. Okay, and then maybe another sticker right here would be nice. I'm just gonna pop a little cloud on there. Put a little insert here. Okay, and for this last page, um, what should we do? We could do it at a door, or we could do, let me see what I got in here. You can totally do another pocket. So if you wanted to do two of these, you can do that. So it's like a folder, just flip book like that. Just some ideas I'm throwing out there. You can totally do another um, triangle folder. Let's try something different. Okay, you know what we'll do? I'm gonna, um, first off, I'm gonna corner chomp this.
Okay, and on this top here, I'm going to make my moon. And we're gonna make a little um, uh, little envelope like that going up instead of sideways. So I do not want to use all of the same. Actually, you know what? Let me use this one because this has a nice picture on it and that's a fun um, look to it rather than just, you don't have to use your stickers and things. So I'm just gonna take that punch And I'm going to glue right here. Just make sure you leave your top open. And you have your little pocket up there. And it's pretty too because, I mean, it's a pocket, but it's like a picture pocket. So these are my two little flip books that I made just to show you some ideas. Um, I really am loving the flat mail to myself. So I thought, why not upload another video? So here they are. I hope you guys like it. Just a few ideas. And if you like more videos like this, um, I totally did not measure that even. Um, I will make it if you kind of like the decorating things um, and post them. I do have a haul coming up, so I'm going to post that later to today, probably too. Thank you guys.